Hello, and welcome to another episode of Draw Toys. It's been a while, but the fans have demanded it, and by the fans I mean all four of us have decided to do this again. Uh, and we are bringing back a theme that I did, I think, in the last episode, which is Drawing Pokemon from Memory. I don't really need to explain it, I think that the title says enough. But tonight, I am joined by Dan. Hello. Tim. Hello. And Tom. All right. Uh, so, we basically, the, the, the simple setup is, I'm going to generate a number between 1 and 1,025. Yes, Pokemon has reached Ooh. the big 1,000. Uh, so, I'm going to generate this number, and then Tim has a te text list of all the Pokemon, so there's, there's no uh, unintentional cheating there. Uh, Tim will tell us what Pokemon it is, and then we will have between 12 and 15 minutes to go off and draw this Pokemon. Now, part of the point is to try and draw it from memory, but part of the point as well is I kind of want us to make it a bit nice as well. You know, so like, we're not really... Background. Yeah, exactly. Draw background, Uh, you know, uh, try a different style if you want, you know, or like a different angle, or even chuck some other Pokemon in the background. If we get something really simple, why not draw a couple of them? Out on a day, Snom on a bench. Snom's on a bench. It Get could be bench. anything. Anyway, without further ado, I am now going to generate a number on my phone via random.org. Shout at random.org if you want to sponsor this video. Don't know why you would. I don't think you're, a, you're an organisation that makes money. Anyway, the number we have generated is 859. 859. Eight. Now that's going to be a sword and shield Pokemon, I think. <laughs> Oh, I can tell you what 859 is. Um, 859 is the Pokedex number of Impidim. Impidim. Oh. Impy. Okay, got you. Now, so, before we go off and do this, the other rule I forgot to mention is Dan, unfortunately, doesn't know many Pokemon. So, our set side rule for Dan is that if he doesn't recognise the name of the Pokemon, we will tell him its name, Impidim, and its main type, which is Fairy... Am I right in saying? Well, it's fairy dark, so it's... Okay, it's... It's a fairy and dark type. It's a fairy and a dark type, Dan, and its name is Impidimp. So, make of what okay. you will from that, and let your uh, let your creative juices flow. I am visualising it as we speak. There you go. Right, we are now all going to go off uh, and try our best to remember what the fuck Impidimp looks like. I think I do, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we're going to go try it, and then we'll be back with our results. So see you in a minute. All right, we are back. So uh, on screen now, so long as I've edited this correctly, is a picture of the Pokemon that we chose the random number for, Impidimp. Look at that. Isn't he a mischievous little creature with his mischievous little hands and his horns and his, his uh, big floppy feet? Uh, I... I, for one, can't wait to see our versions of this, because I think it's going to be accurate, but we're going to have slightly different themes going on. I think everyone agrees with that? Hey, I, I think, sure. basically, I think it's going to be... So, well, you know, disclaimer here, none of these... We have not traced the art, okay? <laughs> we have not looked up the official artwork for Impidimp. Oh, so, there was no tracing, yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to post mine first. Is everybody ready? Yeah, I think yeah. as a general rule, Dan should go last, because I've got a feeling Dan will be the least similar to the source material. Although, how spooky would it be? It's like, what the heck? No, that's, right. that's just... That's, that's just, just right, I'm going to post mine first. There is one or two things I think I got sort of correct, and then 95% I got incorrect. So this is my... Oh. But I, so, I got the colours completely incorrect, somehow, and I don't understand why, but, I don't know, I, it, it's, I, I, I thought his face was the only colourful part and the rest of him was black, but maybe I was thinking of Morgren, which he evolves into. I think that's what you've gone for, yeah, but yours looks really cute. So, so, so midway through he started looking more like Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank 
Uh, and then I kind of realised he looks like he was a burglar, so I, I drew him in an alleyway. Uh, <laughs> sort of. It's a bit like, um, yeah, Sly like Cooper. The, that's the dustbin. Yeah, so the dustbin is what I took an additional minute or two yeah. when we were all ready. Because I'd started drawing it, but then realised I'd, I'd coloured it in the wrong se- you know, sequence. Um, yeah, it's not good. I don't, I don't think you could say it's Impy Dimp, but it looks... <laughs> It looks like a three-year-old saw Impy Dimp on a trading card, but the card was like quite far away, and then someone told him to draw Impy Dimp. I would say maybe it was Impy Dimp if he, you know, become a burglar and was <laughs> hanging around back alleys searching for trash. Yeah, but, yeah, exactly. But, but yeah, uh, yeah, no, I'm not proud of that one. That I'm sorry. Uh, you tried. I tried. I tried. So next up. Uh, who wants to go next? Dan, you're going to go last because you are the wild card, basically. I'm the wild card. I yeah. don't I'll... mind going next. Oh, okay. Right. Tom, go on, you go All ahead right. and post yours. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Okay, a lot of, a lot of take in. Hang on. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I'm confused. Um... <laughs> who? who is the ditto talking to? The um, audience I think I, I I like to I like to imagine it was a ditto attempting to turn into an empty dim. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, what's up with the tongue? Uh, well, well, he's got a tongue now, isn't it? Yeah, you do. Yeah. He do, He does That's have good. a long tongue. If you look at the official art, Dan, he does have a sticky outy tongue. That is true. That is true. That I is true. forgot. I, does, that. I thought that was very Dan Cole when I was doing it, but something in my mind was like he st- he sticks his tongue out. I remembered the thing with the face, like there were two different colours. I think I, I mm. got them slightly wrong way round, but the blue is wrong anyway. Maybe that was the shiny. I remember you caught them in um, like that forest with Glim, all the mushrooms. Glim, Glimwood, yeah. Glim, Glimwood so. Tangle. Glimwood Tangle, also, that's the one. Also, just saying, anybody that just is watching this video right now and then Tom's going, oh yeah, Dan is a tongue core. That... <laughs> We've seen. You didn't draw twice, Dan. Well, you know. Yeah, I mean, your your last the last time we did draw Pokemon by memory, both of the both of the Pokemon had had tongues on them. That is true. That is true. Uh, <laughs> so you know, well, uh, I mean, I would argue Tom's is, I think, closer, especially in like. <laughs> I will begrudgingly admit it does look more like Impy Dimp, but Your it looks more like Nightmare. I, okay, I will say the years. The mm. years match. The years, and I think you have the general, very general, I'm being kind here, the general <laughs> colour out, outline as well, as in, like, where the colours change, I think you got correct. Like, you got the sort of crescent mm. moon mask thing going on with his face, sort and of. And also dark. a mushroom. Well, yeah, that, that's that's because of where you find them in the game. So accuracy uh, there as well. I will say, I think, you know, I was going to say, yeah, I think your proportions are better on yours. Like, I'm I, not good I at guess. drawing proportions, like for these, I guess. Yeah, I mean, my, I, I'm not going to lie. Mine do, has started looking like a Furiosi from like <laughs> from a Deviant Art uh, kind of forum or something. So I it uh, does. starting it does. to feel. More uncomfortable with my own creation now. Uh, Tim, do you want to post yours? Want is a strong word, but I guess I will um, begrudgingly post my. <laughs> oh, ooh, okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I also remember the tongue, but I, I thought he had like a forked tongue because I remember it being kind of like demon ish. Mm. I started drawing the hands and realised I was putting way too much detail into the hands. Now he looks like he's doing kind of like a um It looks like it looks like one of those you know the has been hotels hotel. Oh my god. We were I was just watching that as well, so yeah. There you go. Also, yeah, I drew the background and realised it looked like he was standing on top of a building and he was about to jump. <laughs> so I thought I'd better put in some words of encouragement not to do that. I but so yeah, not, I not I will say, I do like the kind of devil theme you've gone for though. So like you've, you, you know, you've kind of gone more devil than more yeah. more Satan than imp, which I I yeah. kind of dig. Like, cause he's got the well not goat legs but sort of goat legs going on and stuff. 
Yeah, that is true. I could have sworn he had some kind of green in his colour scheme, but but I was I was wrong. I thought like the tips of his ears were green. But I, what I the that. what is second evolution? Because Morgan oh, is Morgan the third. Morgan. Oh no, wait, Morgan. Oh. No, Morgan's the middle one, and then Grimmsnarl is the third. Yeah, may... Oh, Grimmsnarl's green. That's why. I'm yeah, green. maybe it's yeah. I so I never use an impy dimp in the game at all. I I like saw them about and stuff, but I was just. I don't know. I, I I never got that. So, I'd say so. Color wise, I think Tim's on the money, basically. Yeah, yeah. I think. I agree. Yeah. Uh, right. So Dan, obviously, you're gonna put us to shame. Um, we've tried. <laughs> Will I have a tongue? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is it pooping, Dan? Is it pooping? Oh. Uh, what is coming out of it? I don't know, I leave that to the well, it looks, imagination. It looks like either fire or it's kind of like uplift, basically. Kind of like <laughs> It's got like leg stubble. I mean I the legs and feet are particularly realistic. I so, would definitely keep for that. So walk walk us through the process, Dan, because obviously all you heard was Impy Dimp, uh and it was Dark Fairy. So I'm guessing wow. Bat Wings yeah. of the Darkness. Yes. Well, I figured I was going to draw a gnome, mm-hmm. and I was halfway doing that, and then I thought, and then midway, I asked, oh, is it with dark and fairy type, and you guys said yes. So, I kind of leaned into that sort of, like, well, dark fairy. Well, well, if a fairy has, like, butterfly wings, then a dark fairy would have bat wings. Oh, and then okay. it went from there. And then um, I tried to do a beard, but then I think because of the shape that I did, I kind of like, I kind of, I was like, ah, oh, you know what? I kind of like where it's going. It's kind of got like a Mike Wazowski kind of thing going on as well. Yeah. And uh, and I thought, oh, I won't even give it arms. I just have wings and legs and uh, mm. and uh, yeah. And then I, yeah, I thought, I thought, um, yeah, and I, I thought honestly, yeah, I. I think it's cool. I, I will say, if I had that amount of information and that was it, I, th- I think you've kind of hit it. I think yeah. it looks like an imp. I will, I will agree. It looks like a dark kind of thing, but also it looks like a magical creature, a fairy. So, like... So, you, you've passed the volume test, definitely. It's got the same volume as actual impy then, I think. So, yeah. So, yeah, he, he's definitely... Basically, if you saw... Yeah, I could see Impy Dimp hanging out with Dan's creature. Like I, I could see them <laughs> yeah, yeah, being yeah. in a sort of like in a slightly trippy kind of forest, fairy woodland scene from I don't know a TV show. I'm or also in my head picturing um, the voice of Brian Blessed. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Brian Bl- Follow me into my hollow. Wow. Well, that was... We've had a variety there, you know? Um, Right. Uh, I think <laughs> I think it's time for us to generate another number. If everyone's yes, ready. So. Uh, I'm yes. hoping it's a Pokemon I remember more of, but in... I don't know. Also, I I think it we, we made some fun so far. So I'm generating another number as we speak. And that number... Is five one nine five hundred and nineteen. So Oh okay. Okay. Five nineteen is Pidov. Pidov, okay. Okay, right. Cool, right. How so do you spell that. P I D O V E. Yeah. Uh so okay. mag- so basically Dan Pidov or Pigeon Dove, sort of a you know. Well, we're well, well, not giving oh. too much information. Well, yeah. It's a normal flying type. It is a more normal flying type. Normal. Normal and flying type. And flying. So, uh, we'll go away and draw that now, and Dan will do his bestest to also uh, draw what he thinks a Pidov should look like. If the world was fair. Uh, right, we'll be back in 12 to 15 minutes. Although to you guys, it doesn't really matter because it could be, you know, 10 seconds. But you will be. All right, we are back. We've been hard at work drawing our pidovs. 
So Tim has looked up a picture and he is now going to post it uh, to all of us so that we can see it and it'll be on screen at the same time. So Tim, if you Here's like what to... Pitov really looks like. Oh. Mm, okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, mm. Okay, yeah, there's... Mm, yeah, no, we're... Uh, we're I have gotten wrong, let's just say that. I have, yeah, proportion-wise and feature-wise, I think I have mistaken. However, maybe I've got some things sort of correct. I will post mine first, as is traditional. Um, I... If I'm being very generous, I'm going to describe mine as being a uh, counterfeit Pidov. What the fuck? This looks exactly like Pidov. What the fuck are you talking about? What? Mm, well, no. Uh, so he's. You got the I think you got the pose. I think the exact pose. The only well, thing that's slightly so. off is the tail. Uh, but aside from that, that, that is. It's that's a that's pigeon very thing good. by the beak too. <laughs> Like, oh well, that's the. That's the, the that is ridiculously accurate. That's the Seri. I mean, uh, I guess it's his eyes are tiny, and he's he's you know. But yeah, I I you guess need to, you need to shut up. That is very <laughs> yeah, accurate. You, yeah. Okay. Well. That's not bad. Cool. Right. Well done. Yeah. Man. I I do I do like uh, drawing derpy birds. So that is uh, uh, it's an addiction actually. I've spoken to uh, professionals about it, so I am getting help. <laughs> um, right. <laughs> Okay, w would anyone like to have their go next? Just go in the same uh, order, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah same order. Well. Okay. Okay, all right. Well, yours is better than mine. And... Here it goes. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> um. <laughs> ah. <laughs> hmm. So, <laughs> so, right. For the people at home, if you've seen Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared... Okay. A, a, you know, A for effort, but it does look like it's contemplating, you know, I'm trying like to... existential dread. I'm... You know, like what is the meaning of life? <laughs> like trying that. to think of like nice things to say. I, 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 I... I've never seen a bird look sad before. <laughs> it's the <laughs> saddest bird I've ever is, seen. Is there some hidden meaning behind the fact that one of the sun's rays is grey? Ooh. Mm. Ooh. No, I didn't know. Wait, <gasps> hang on, hang on. How many rays are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, and midway through, Gen 5. Uh, so, so, yeah, if you start from... The left wood, no, not the left wood. The top left wood, which would be eleven o'clock on a clock. So, that, um, it wouldn't make a lot of sense because nothing else in this picture has anything to do with Unova whatsoever. There is some kind of pheasant. Um, <laughs> I don't remember there being a pheasant Pokemon in Gen Five. I mean, it but... evolves into a pheasant. Uh, yeah, yeah, tr actually, yeah, true. Yeah, so I mean, maybe this yeah. is like, um, you know, when you mash B to cancel an evolution, but like <laughs> you mash on the last possible frame it will input, but the game is like, oh, um, fuck, it's it's evolved now. Um, what about <laughs> unpheasant Pidov? I will give you yeah. this, um, and this is the nicest thing I can say, um. <laughs> You did have to follow Ridian's very good one. So. <laughs> I like the speckled uh, spots on his chest. I wonder um, if Unpheasant has that. Like the speckled spots, that's where I got it from. I don't know. I'm going to look it up. Uh, kind of, but they're either, gr they're either green or brown, depending on the gender. So. Uh, okay. It doesn't look like that, let's just say that. Well, <laughs> I like it. It does, looking at it, look a little bit more like Unpheasant than it does Pit of. Yeah. I like that you are my friend. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Tim. Mm. Uh, right, Tim, would you like to go next, I guess? My one, I don't think it looks like Pit of, but I quite like it. Oh, so, that's oh, like really that. cute, actually. 
I think like it could be like a thing. regional form of Pidov. Yeah. <clears throat> or like um it looks almost like a sort of um a, a breed of bird you'd see in sort of like the in like Arctic places. It sort of like looks a little penguin esque, the sort of Yeah. I really like that. That uh. one's as a lot hopeful. Like mm. you know <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's something about it that's like, ah, oh, you know, I'm on a mission, I'm loving life, I'm wondering what's ahead of me. It's striated in. It's like striated in yeah. forward. Honestly, yeah, like, you, I, I could almost see that as a sort of, as a Pokemon. Sort of like, it's... It's got that kind of Pokemon thing of like it's kind of simplistic, but it's got a lot going on too. I will say, uh, well, it's funny you say oh, that because Ken oh. Ken Sugimori is my dad. <laughs> ah, well, there you uh, go. I will uh, say criticisms. Oh, oh. criticisms. Oh, oh. oh. oh right. Oh, oh, okay. Um, the like, no, no, I really love the the thing. The, <laughs> however, but... the feet. I feel like like more feet it, because they're quite. <laughs> Uh, there's feet at the oh, top. Oh, oh. Yeah. I, I didn't even spot those. I So I thought very it was... Tiny, very tiny. I feel like if it was a, if it was ever realistic, like the the weight of the entire body would just Dan, collapse. Please don't body shave my bird, okay? He's just going through the winter. He's put a bit of winter weight on. That's yeah. none of your fucking concern, all right? It is just, cold. Oh, I'm, it's I'm cold concerned. in the North Pole, Dan. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I am just concerned for this pedal. The weight, the, it, like it could, it could collapse under its own weight. You, you know, I'm able to get up, but well, I'll put that, my head on again. All right, will I make you happy? Right, I just realised no. what it reminds me of. Woody Woodpecker. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> or, maybe the beat. It's, maybe the beat. Its eyes have a little bit of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja it's Turtles the... going on as well. Kind of like. Around it, I think. Yeah, I really like that though. That like, honestly, I you know I I I I like the the drawing style as well. The kind of like yeah, you know, hmm. it, and you've you've added shading and stuff. It is 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 really nice. I like that. What kind of style would you call it? Not a fucking like, clue, Dan. Tim <laughs> style. Yeah, there you go. Digital Tim style. Digital style. <laughs> what kind of style would you call Tom's? <laughs> Uh, uh, right, Dan. It is <laughs> <laughs> lack of stuff. Yeah, go on, go on, Dan. Let's, let's see yours. Uh, so uh, you had um... the phrase "pidov." I accidentally gave away maybe too much by saying "pigeon dove." I'm no, so, that's okay. Sorry. Okay. Chances are you probably thought of a bird of some kind with that. Oh name. yeah, for sure. And it's a You're flying ready? normal. So yeah. yes. Three, two, one. Oh, Ooh. Oh, oh. Um, uh, okay. Okay. Now we'll all, all stand hmm. for the National Bird of America. <laughs> I can't tell if it's meant to be farting or there's like a sheet coming out of its butt. Is it? Is that his tail, I presume? Or it's tail. Is, no, the, is it meant to be a tail or a No, fart? the tail is at the top. Oh, oh is it, yeah, of course. Um, so it's like a Is fart? it pooping? It could be. What's the thing? I feel like it's down to people's interpretation. interpretation. Okay. Oh, it could be okay. a gust of wind. It could be a jet fuel of um, um, poop. So what's what's the what's the inspiration for the rose? I presume it's a rose or a, a flower. No, no, it, well, it's it's the you know, doves always have uh, what is it like a laurel in their mouth. Like the pea stuff. Oh, ah, yeah. oh, ah, right. Is but, it laurel? I don't know. Yeah, it's meant to be a laurel, but I figured, right, it's like, so if it's a dove, I imagine like a pigeon and a dove hmm. uh, who love each other very much had this, which is a dove. Okay. And I feel like it's half, like, it's mainly pigeon, but like it has a good. I, know, I see of the dove, and I thought the laurel would be like a, like a, just a bit. You know, it, it's trying its best, right? It's, yeah. it's meant to be a laurel, but it's like you know withered and wilted. Okay. And, uh, so I think it's like 
come, it comes off meaningful, but doesn't necessarily do. All it's got right um, the pose in is like the American eagle on like different. Yeah, different eagle from it as well. It's, I, I it's think. Like a bald eagle. Yeah, unfortunately, I think because of the color combination of pigeon and dove. The dove part of it does make it look like a bald eagle, but sort of a, yeah, a grey bald true. eagle, basically. Yeah. Hmm. It's interesting, though. It is... Uh, <laughs> I think... Yeah, it's... <laughs> the fact its eyes aren't focused does make it look a little bit like it's sort of... It's not feeling great. Uh, yeah, that's the whole point I was trying to get. You know. Dan, you've got a whole, you've got a whole episode without drawing a tongue. With no tongues. I know. I. I... But, but the ironic thing is, there should have been a tongue in the first one. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> so when, when the situation calls for it, suddenly you can't produce a weird tongue. I, I, I felt no. I felt like I wanted to, um, you know, experiment. Keep people, yeah, keep people on their toes. You know. Do I have to have tons every single time in no. my drawings? You know, and I thought, you know what, I'm not going to do it. You know, and um, and you but, didn't. Um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Well, I think we so. can all we we've all learned a message from this today from Dan's drawings. Let me know in the comments what that message is. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think I I I I think. With this one, the the awards are the drawings we made along the way. Uh, I, I don't <laughs> think there's any any real way we can judge these. Um, but I will leave the viewer judge them instead. In the comments below, let me know where your favourites of these eight are. Um, yeah, I think I think we've had some fun today. I say. Yeah apprehensively i think this was fun question mark uh yeah i think please let us know in the comments if you think we had fun <laughs> did we have fun <laughs> only you can decide but yeah um yeah well thank you guys very much for joining me i think we could definitely do this as sort of a, a fairly regular thing because there's over a thousand pokemon now and uh, I'd like to do regular draw toys as well, but I thought we'd welcome ourselves back to draw toys doing this because it's a little bit more open, a little bit more free form and stuff. Mm. Um, but yeah, next time we'll try and think up a theme maybe again, and we can try drawing stuff uh, in the other way, which is like the thirty second, two minute, and ten minute style, which that is always fun as well. Yeah, right. Well, thank you guys very much for watching, and thank you three for joining me for another episode of Draw Toys. Um, and until next time, goodbye. 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 Goodbye.